Hello, fifth year. How are you today? Well, today is a cloudy and windy day. It's also cold. Yes, so we are going to check uh, pages 48 and 49 from the exam maximizer. We are going to go to unit 8, uh, pages 83, 84 and 85. We are going to uh, revise these phrasal verbs, yes. And as homework, you are going to do pages 50 and 51 from the exam maximizer. And then maximize and then have the weekend and blah, blah, blah. Yes, okay? Well, how are you today? Fine? All right, there we go. Shall we check the pages? Yes, 48. 48 from the activity book. Yes, 40, 40, 40, 40. 48 from the activity book and 49. Yes, 48 and 49. There we are. All right. You ready? Well, one cat two wings, three fish, four bear, five snake. Number two, one false, two false, three true, four true, five false, six false, seven false, seven true, eight false and nine true. Yes, okay. I'm from page 49, exercises one and two. Uh, the exercises I'm sending you, yes, the day that you are having more homework is homework is when I'm giving activities from the um, pages from the, the exam maximizer plus a composition. But this was a very, very, very short um, homework. So the days you have less homework is the day, homework is the day that you... Uh, I, it's an advice, it's a piece of advice, a piece of advice I'm giving to you, um, giving you, yes, is that you can use this time for revising all the grammar from units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, okay? It's just a piece of advice, okay? So, we are going to um, check 1 and 2, are you ready? Yes, from the grammar. Zoo animals are looked after very well these days. Two, my dog Zach is being seen by the vet at the moment. Passive voice, huh? And it's very easy because you use passive voice in present simple, present continuous, past and present perfect. The kitchen, the kitten was rescued by four. The fences were repaired. Five, I've just had a call from the stables to say my horse has been stolen. Oh my God. Number six, the animal rescue center has been given a large donation by the local government. 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 Number one, from two. Okay, were first published, two, have changed, yes, all changed, three, were made, four, was given, yes, five, being chased, from, plus ing, being chased, six, was sent, Seven have asked, were illustrated. Nine are still enjoyed. Five, blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's all from here. Okay, I want you to go very quickly to pages 83, 84 and 85. Okay, are you ready? So put the date in all the pages. I'm going to look for the listening because we have listening here too. All right, there we are. Unit 8, speaking book. All right, good, good, good. Okay, 
So it says there, uh, working pairs, okay, this is the part that you are going to talk at home alone, yes, you are not crazy, okay, you are practicing for your classes of English. What problems are affecting wild animals in the world today? To, do you think we need to do something about these problems? Why? Why not? Okay? So, here you are going to talk about uh, animals in danger. Yes? What uh, is the thing that is affecting them and their habitat? Yes, you are going to talk about the um, global warming. Yes, you are going to talk about people not taking care of the environment, people not recycling, people not respecting the laws, um, the security laws for animals who are in danger of extinction. Yes, okay, about all these things. What you think about that? Yes, okay. Wait a minute. Okay, and um, do you think we need to do something about this problem? I think yes, I think we should um, recycle for taking care of our, of our environment, we should uh, plant more trees, we should take care of animals who look after animals that are in danger of extinction by respecting the laws, yes, we should take care of um, the forest, uh, we shouldn't cut down more trees, yes, we should uh, try to use other um, kind of uh, materials for our living, yes, okay, because I consider that um, men, yes, uh, human, are very selfish, we really don't care about throwing out a lot of rubbish, we don't care about recycling, we don't care about Take it, taking all the batteries we use, not throwing the batteries we use uh, to a normal container. Yes, you know, uh, we don't care about uh, when we are in the beach, on the beach, for example, we, um, I'm talking in general, yes, okay. Uh, you throw, people throw rubbish in the beach, yes, okay, and you know, uh, bags, plastic bags, yes, um, last a long, many, many years to um, be destroyed, yes, from the world, yes, from the, the environment. So, uh, imagine, um, and they throw cans in the sea, yes, so, uh, you know, everybody knows about it, the little fish are trapped then, yes, uh, in those containers and they die yes okay so we really don't care about anything and you know I suppose I thought that uh, because of this uh, pandemia yeah, we were human is was going to be more um, I don't know uh, kind to each other, yes, but I think not selfish, yes, um, but I think we human don't care about anything, yes, I'm talking about the majority, yes, because we continue being the same, uh, we continue, it says, it is said that you must be at home, but many people in my neighborhood, for example, there were many people that we were, uh, that didn't respect the law. They get together. They uh, continue uh, being uh, having meetings with a lot of people. Yes, okay. So I think they really don't care about anything, and we do like this with everything. We don't. Uh, people generally don't teach their children to recycle. Don't teach the, their children to take a bag, yes, if you are eating in, in the beach, for example, yes, uh, don't throw, yes, your rubbish there, put it in a bag, and then when we are leaving, when you are leaving, take it in the container, yes, they don't care, and it's a pity, 
because you can't do anything, yes, alone. The same happen, happens with education. Not all, all the teachers care about their students. Just a few teachers care about their students, yes, because I think they are very, most of the teachers, most, not all of them, but most of the teachers nowadays are very happy because they don't have to deal with students, yes? They are not missing their students at all because I realize this, because I see how teachers are dealing with, this, with these situations. Uh, they really don't care about students. They just send a bunch of, not a bunch of flowers, but um, a lot of papers like a kind of practical words, but they don't explain topics, they don't explain the grammar, they don't continue with the schedule, yes? So I think uh, I'm talking about the majority, yes? But not all, yes? Because there were some teachers that really care about students and didn't care um, about following the politics of the school, yes, of not giving anything or not evaluating anything yes i think um if you really feel teaching you should care about your student and you should send your student um, um something record something uh, uh, uh you know um a recording explaining about uh, the 25 de mayo through uh, Mirato, the Rio de la Plata, and everything, yes, but not just sent many uh, uh, papers with trabajo practico number one, number two, and anything. Well, so I arrived to this because we were talking about people, people not caring about the environment, not caring about animals in danger, yes, and I think all the things we do affect, affect to our environment, affect to the place where we live, yes? And I, should, and I think that we should um, think about it and be conscious about it, yes? Because we are, uh, this is the place where we live and we should, um, we must take care of it, yes? Okay, we must be conscious about it, okay? So I was talking about everything because this is what I'm thinking, yes, what I think, now is the time that you talk at home, yes, after what I was talking. No teacher rule, I don't agree with this because blah, 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 blah. Yes, okay? Um, well, can we continue? So uh, we're going to listen to Carlos, exercise three from page 83. Carlos and Maria's conversation and see how many of your points they talk about. Activity three. Okay. So we have to say whether these are good ways of making people aware of the problems. Is that right? Yeah, you should do, uh, you have to do exercise 4-2. Yes, to complete the questions from 1 to 6 with the correct words, words, and then we check, okay? But it's with the same listening. Okay. So we have to say whether these are good ways of making people aware of the problems. Is that right? Yes. Shall we start with this one? Fine. That's a group of scientists discussing environmental problems. Maybe on a TV show. Yes, I've seen some discussion programs like that. Personally, I don't think they're that interesting. <laughs> no, I agree. There's usually just a lot of talk and facts and figures. Could you say that again? The experts just talk a lot about numbers and things we don't always understand. Absolutely. Also, the scientists often disagree themselves, don't they? True. I don't think that's going to help people find out about problems, really. How about the nature documentaries? Well, I think some of the documentaries today are excellent and people watch them a lot. And they learn from them. Yes, they can show people different things in places that they could never visit. And sometimes they have famous people describing what's happening. That's good. I'm not so sure about leaflets. People usually just put them in the bin. 
You mean without reading them? Yes, it's just more rubbish that comes through the door. I like the idea of art exhibitions. People can take their time to look and think about the pictures. I agree. Artists and photographers can be very clever. And lots of people go to art shows. What do you think about people in animal costumes? Well, that's an interesting one. I think they do make people stop and think, don't they? But often people just get annoyed. It almost puts people off. Sorry, I don't follow. What do you mean exactly? Well, if you get stopped in the street by a man dressed up like a big bird, you're more likely to remember that you were annoyed by him than what he was advertising. Okay, I'm with you now. I see what you mean. And yes, I agree. Now you have a minute to decide which is the most effective way. So, we have to decide which is the most effective way. I think the animal costumes are out, don't you? Absolutely. And I'm not too sure about the scientist discussion programs either. And, as we said, the leaflets would probably be thrown out. So we're left with the documentaries or the art exhibitions. Hmm, I don't know about you, but although I like the idea of art exhibitions, not that many people go to them, do they? You're right. More people watch TV. For me, documentaries are far more effective. I think we should go for that. Yes, that's a good choice. Unit 8. Speaking focus. Activity 3. The problems. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Well, Soraka, is that right? Did you listen to the accent, to their accent? Yes, okay. Could you say number three, mean, number four, saying, number five, follow, number six, why don't you mean, what do you mean exactly? Yes, okay, and in exercise four, I want you to put talking and highlight everything. Yes, I have already talked about this, about the animals. Are there animals in your country that are affected by environmental problems? Yes, there are many animals in our country. Yes, okay. For example, here in, we have La Reserva um, uh, Waikole. Yes, okay. We, they aren't, uh, well, um, they, are, they aren't uh, in good conditions. Yes, animals are not well cared there. And I used, I remember it, I used to go, I used to go there and there used to be a lot of animals there, but then uh, they started to die, yes, okay, and it is a very nice place for animals, but there wasn't anybody to look after it, yes, the place and the animals, yes, okay, and okay, they didn't put um, uh, money on that, yes, so that is a pity, yes, uh, some people say that, say that we care more about animals, than we do about people. Why do you think about that? Yes, okay. Well, there are some people who take care of animals more than their friends, yes, but I think it depends on the person. Yes, okay. Is there anything to that each of us can do to help protect the environment? Well, we have already talked about that. Uh, we should recycle, we shouldn't take other rubbish um, that we should recycle, yes. Uh, for example, on the beach, yes, in the sea, yes. Do you think our environmental problems are going to go better or worse? I think worse. Yes, because um, we uh, as human uh, don't stop thinking only about ourselves, about ourselves, yes. And we don't care about floods and about everything because this is... Um, um, problems we are having, for example, fl floods and everything, is a consequence of everything we do in the wrong way. Yes, okay, so I think we are going to get worse and worse. Yes, okay, from my point of view. Okay, and then you have an, a kind of brainstorming. Yes, how effective are 
this way of helping people to uh, find out more about these problems, leaflet from animals, what they have campaigns, yes, okay, uh, TV discussions, documentaries, okay, wildlife art, yes, and that, that could be a very nice um, activity, wildlife art, like the art that is all around Formosa's walls, yes, I really love them. Yes, I have one student that, that was painting, yes, and he, he's great, both, yes, brothers are great at painting, yes, Adolfo and Albertito, yes, okay, good, well, uh, let's go to page 84, page 84, yes, okay, you have more talk in there, yes, okay, and on 85 you have uh, a text, my wife's green passions yes okay uh, you are going to read it yes about her passions but uh first of all in exercise one from page 82 uh you have to read the comments about environment yes which do you agree with it's important to recycle everything from closed books i agree with it we have already talked about that but the thing is in formosa we don't have um places uh, that um, where all the things we recycle can go yes as far as I know yes okay so uh, we should have um, uh, places yes for uh, where all the recycling these things we recycle go but well we need money Yes, and you know, politicians use the money for other things. Yes, so that's the point. Uh, it doesn't matter what, what car I drive because when volcanoes erupt, they do more damage. They do more damage to the planet than I do. Well, I don't agree with this point of view. Okay, I am interested in protecting the environment but I just don't have time to recycle everything. Sometimes this is what I say, okay, I don't have time for recycling, but it's not the time here in Formosa. For example, in Mallorca, when I, when I used to live there, there were containers, you know, green, the yellow, uh, from different colors, from the different colors, and, you know, we recycle, we used to recycle bottles with my husband, yes, and recycle, try to recycle everything, and it wasn't very hard. And it wasn't very difficult for us to do it yes so uh, if we I think we have we must we should have the possibility but well you know we need the containers and everything yes okay um, we are conscious about it yes uh, but I know many people who aren't conscious about that okay well I want you to think about it and say at home what you think about uh, these things okay let's go to the reading you are going to read now is the time that you pause the video do the activities and then listen to the answer but first of all yes um i want to i want you to highlight all the phrase and verbs that you will have in the photo pizarra take catch on take over turns turns down fill up go off and fall out in the text okay and I want you to, uh, me imagino que ya tienen el cuaderno de la A a la Z, your notebook from A to Z, y ahí vamos a poner los phrasal verbs, ¿ok? ¿Es it clear? Vas a poner los phrasal verbs que son con T, F, take, yes, in T, F, film, C, catch on, fall out, in F, turn down, in T, and go off in G. Okay, ya sabes cómo poner de la A a la Z. Yes, so we are going to put, uh, apart from that, you are going to put the phrasal verbs with an example there. And apart from that, you are going to do this. Yes, okay, a piece of paper with all the meanings in your notebook, en tu cuaderno normal de inglés, okay? Y de la A a la Z, todos los phrasal verbs puestos ahí, ¿está? No hay un policía que te controla, te controla tu conciencia. Y después que, bueno, si no vamos haciendo todo lo que pide la teacher, tenemos los resultados 
malos resultados en el exam. ¿Ok? Well, so, it's a take over is to take control. Yes? So, when my father died, I have to take over the business. Is it clear? To take control. Yes? Ok? I don't know who is going to take control of the academy when I died. I always think about it. Is it clear? Good. I'm Fila. I have eaten a lot of cakes. Yes, that is a, 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 that is a lie because I'm dying. Yes, okay, I'm starving. Yes, okay. Well, uh, fill up. Yes, is to make something completely full. Yes, can you? You know, you can say I'm. Um, yes, I'm fill up. Yes, está lleno. Yes, is it clear? But or también se puede decir I'm full. Yes, okay. But can you feel me? Can you fill this glass? Can you fill this glass up? Yes, okay, with more champagne. Yes, okay. Can you, perdón, can you fill up my glass with more champagne? Can you fill up my glass with more water? Yes, okay. Oh, I'm filled up. Yes, okay. Well, ¿qué más tenemos? Uh, catch on. Yes, okay. I think I will this I will explain this again for you to, to catch on the topics. I think that you must write more examples or I will give you more examples so that you can catch on the new phrase I guess. Is it clear to understand? Yes, okay? So to fill up, yes, to take over. Yes, take over is to take control, to fill up is to make something completely full. Yes, can you fill up my glass with water? Can you fill up my glass with more champagne? Yes, I need to lunch champagne, it's just an example. Yes, I like cocktails, yes, okay. Well, uh, a very women, yes, is to drink cocktails. I don't like beer, I don't like uh, champagne, I don't like wine, but cocktails, yes, okay. Well, um, what else? To fall out. To fall out is to have an argument and not to talk anymore with someone. For example, my sister and I have fallen out. Since that day, we haven't talked anymore. Yes, okay? To have an argument and not talk anymore. Yes, I fell out with my best friend last weekend. That's a pity, but we didn't agree in many toys points and apart from that um, my, my husband and I were going out together yes so we fell out with each other yes okay is it clear it's just an example of course <laughs> uh, can you turn down the volume I need to sleep yes you know to turn down turn down the volume yes okay so, to lower, yes, you have all the meanings in the photo pizarra, yes, to lower the level off, yes, the level. Can you turn, can you turn down the, the volume, please? I'm trying to sleep. Yes, and then you have go, go off to lose its freshness, yes. I think this cheese is gone off. It smells. Is it clear? Yes. Is it clear? All right. Good. Um, well, so now you can do exercises two from page 84 as exercises two, four, five, eight, and nine. And exercise seven, put talking. Who do you agree with more, Nicola or Huge? Why? What do you think will happen in their relationship? Yes, okay? So, this is your point of view. You have to talk at home if you agree with them. Yes. How do you think uh, this relationship will finish? Yes. Okay. Because you you can't have more. You have you can't have things in common. But sometimes this kind of disagreements divide can divide the couples. Yes. Okay. So. Um, in topics such as uh, politics, as it says here, uh, in topics such as how to um, uh, educate your children, because sometimes it happens 
So uh, that is what I what uh, we always say in our family to our daughters is that mommy and daddy agree in everything. Yes, so they have to obey the rules in their house, in at home, for example. Because sometimes they say, Mama say that, Daddy say that. Yes, okay, and they use us. You, daughters and son, use us. Yes, and make us, yes, to discuss sometimes. So that's why I think um, um, your mother and your father must agree in how to educate you, but sometimes it's difficult. It's difficult. Yes. Okay. Well, um, compost. Yes, I was reading compost because Papa Servito, Daddy Pig, in Peppa Pig. Uh, yes, has compost in the in its garden. Yes. Okay. Well, by the way, well. All right, um, remember I'm alone here recording the classes, so I have to imagine, yes, you are there, and we are having a conversation, okay? Well, so let's go to uh, page 84, exercise two. Yes, okay, where you buy food and what to buy. Which things might people disagree about? Yes, we have already talked about that, okay? I like buying expensive things, and, I, and you like buying just cheap things, okay? But I think, yes, um, you have a period where you are boyfriend and girlfriend, and this is the time you have to use for um, knowing each other, yes? Not then, when you are married, yes? Okay, do you know what I mean? Yes, because I know he's a very, very, um, selfish person uh, I don't agree with him because he's always talking about politics and I don't care about politics he's always watching documentaries on TV and I like watching romantic things that he doesn't share with me this is rubbish I think you have a moment in my opinion of course where uh, you can where you know the person you are with Yes, okay, when you can know. And then when you get married and 12 years have passed, you can't complain, yes, because you already know the person who you are with, okay? So it's not time for complaining, yes? You got married, the person you chose, yes? And you chose this person and you knew how it was. And of course, there are, there are some cases, there can be some, some cases that the people changes, the person, perdón. The person changes, but I think you are who you are. Yes, okay. Oh my God, a very radical idea. Okay, well, <laughs> I have always been like this since secondary school, yes, okay. Um, well, number three, uh, where to buy food, what to buy using the car, yeah, well, saving water and electricity, household waste and recycling. Well, you can discuss about many things. Of course, when you are married, married or not, but when you are living with a person, with your couple, there might be um, things you are you don't agree or different things. Uh, you can think different ways because if you all think about think the same, it's going to be boring. But there must be also. Uh, a point where you can agree and respect the other person, the person you love, of course, yes, okay? Well, um, number four is three, yes, to entertain and amuse the reader. Number five, one, F, two, G, no te pierdas de hacer estas clases de ejercicio, Porque si te perdés hacer las partes de reading, then you are going to have problems in the reading part, yes, in the reading skill. So, take vocabulary, organize everything, yes, 1F, 2G, 3E, 4A, 5B, and 6D, yes, okay, good, exercise 8, take over, fill up. Three, catch on, four, fall out, five, turn down, six, 
go off. Number nine, yes, okay, five turn up, turn down, yeah. She turns down the central heating, you have an example there, yes. Another example, turn down the volume, the central heating, yes, turn down the air conditioner, yes, nine, filled up, full up. Gone off, fallen out. Have you ever, have you ever fallen out with your best friend? That is a good question. And why? I have never fallen out with my best friend. No. Mm -hmm. Because you have to respect, you know, we have, have exchange of ideas, but have had some exchange of ideas, but never fallen out. Okay? Catch all number four and five, turn down the music, your music. Okay? Well, that was all for today. I hope um, you can do everything. I hope you study. I hope you do the uh, notebook of eight from A to Z to Z. Yes, organize your vocabulary and everything, vocabulary and everything, and enjoy your weekend. I really miss you, yes, okay? Bye-bye, see you next class, happy weekend.